Well, thank you all very much. I have to uh, say this is the first structured speech I've ever done. I'm normally a Q&A type of chick, but uh, we'll do the best we can. So today I'm going to tell you the who, what, where, when, and why of VIR. Who is me? Connie Nyholm, grew up in Martinsville, local girl, went to uh, Martinsville High School, then attended William & Mary, got a BA in economics there, and then went to New York for 20 years where I was introduced to Harvey Siegel, who had just put VIR under contract and said, now what? So he brought me on board to help him to redevelop VIR, and that brought me back home, and I'm really, really glad to be here. The what of VIR is several fold. VIR is a natural terrain road course, and that means that a bunch of dudes got out on bulldozers and rode around the natural contour of the land. That was back in 1955 when sex was safe and racing was dangerous. <laughs> so v VIR is also one of the top six road courses in America, as named by Car and Driver magazine. And we are one of only 12 tracks in all of the country to host the IMSA WeatherTech Sports Car Championship. Our event, known as the Michelin GT Challenge, will be August 23rd to 25th this year. We are also home to America's Motorsport Resort. That includes three different types of lodging, dining at the uh, 1840s Tavern, which should be up before and after here, trackside concessions, and catering anything from hot dogs to caviar. I mean, we literally can do it all. We also have a um, team building and corporate development um, opportunities out there, and mostly we run those through a group from our industrial park called Racing for Heroes. And those guys are ex-special ops who come out and do our training, and they do a Jane Bond experience, which is all for women, tactical driving, close proximity driving, all kinds of off-road experiences, and they also train the government military groups who come out, primarily the Navy SEALs, FBI, and other bad-ass direct people. <laughs> so, and lastly, we host bachelor parties and weddings, so we are all over the map with a very diversified business. Where are we? We are halfway between South Boston and Danville, one mile inside Virginia from Milton, North Carolina. Back in the day when VIR operated from 55 to, 50 to 74, the um, cops would set up a temporary jail in Milton, so as they left Virginia into North Carolina, they'd arrest all the partygoers. <laughs> so, when? VIR is open nearly every day to the public 24-7. Unlike NASCAR, our bread and butter is renting the racetracks. We have five distinct race courses that we rent approximately 380 times a year because we can rent two tracks simultaneously. I am not mathematically impaired. We also host spectator events. We do about 12 events a year. Our first event this year is the Blanc Pond GT Americas World Challenge. I mean, that is a mouthful but it is a feature of all the different um, high-end sports cars, Ferraris, Porsches, Corvettes, even Janettas, Radicals, all kinds of cars, and it's, it's very um, fun for the entire family. All of our events um, feature children 12, 16 and under free with a paying adult, free military, and half-price veterans, and that event will be the last weekend in April. Following that, we'll have Moto America featuring AMA Superbike the first weekend in May. And that Friday, we are also the registration site for over 600 garden club participants from the region. And my sister is getting married at VIR on Saturday. So it's going to be a crazy weekend. For the NASCAR fans, we have the SBRA Gold Cup Historic Races in October. And I'm sorry, in September, that'll be the 14th and 15th. And that features the American Racing Legends. Last year, we had 18 Pro drivers from NASCAR, Bill Elliott, um, just a whole bunch of the guys, and we've heard that even more want to come this year. It's for charity. It's to benefit an autism group, and we'd love to have you out for that, and it's up close and personal, so you can meet all your you know, stars for that. And lastly, we have the SCCA Runoffs. That is the Sports Car Club of America. They are the largest amateur race organization in America, and we will be having their finale event 
October 8th to 13th. We call them spoiled children crashing automobiles, and there will be plenty of crashes in action for everybody. They're expecting over 900 cars. The largest event they've ever had was at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway two years ago. They had 975, and we're tracking right on target with Indy, and I love to be in the same sentence as Indy. So lastly, why is VIR important to Region 3? because we are a driving business, driving business. I talked about the OEMs doing their test, research, and development at VIR. General Motors, Ford, Honda, Subaru, Michelin, Dunlop, Goodyear all use us for their high performance track testing. We have a industrial park at VIR called, called the Virginia Motorsport Technology Park. There's about a dozen tenants there, including Racing for Heroes. Another notable tenant is Virginia Tech. They have two labs operated by the Virginia Tech Transportation Institute. It's called GCAPS, which is the Global Center for Automotive Performance and Simulation. The Sova Vehicle Motion Lab does chassis development, and the National Tire Research Center, we are extremely proud to say, has the most capable tire dyno in the world. Most of their customers come from Europe and Asia, the major car manufacturers, tire manufacturers, and race teams, including Formula One. Thirdly, we are a tourism driver, and that means a lot more than just hotels and restaurants. I mean, tourism touches a huge number of businesses and employs a lot of people. We bring about 400,000 people through the gate every year because we're open year-round, and that means that that volume of humanity <laughs> is spread out throughout the year and giving them more opportunities to stay here close to home. Last year, we had a study done by the Washington Economics Group who determined that VIR contributes $197 million to the economies of just City of Danville, Halifax County, and Pennsylvania County, and $238 million when you look at the Commonwealth overall. To sustain that business and to grow it forward, the one thing we really need to focus on now, and we would love to have all of you engaged in that process, is to find a solution to our water problem. We have five wells that feed a water tower on site, and only one of those wells is working. So we are very, very fortunate to be here with such good leadership in Halifax, Pennsylvania, and Danville, who are working together to potentially form a RIFA, a Regional Industrial Facility Authority, to address our water problems and share in the benefits of the future growth. <laughs>